This is an ABC color presentation. I began construction of my carpenter shop by clearing the 8 by 12 meter footprint that I had sketched out with core wood. And then I laid a course of 1 by 2 stone around the inside of the sketch and filled that in with stone flooring. And then I finished off the stonework with one course of 1 by 2 stone leaving space for two double doorways in the front and back wall. Using core wood poles, I established a 4 meter ceiling height as well as a 1 meter roof overhang by using 1 meter beams. And then I created the roof line by attaching a 26 degree beam on each end and then using 45 degree beams for the rest utilizing an X piece in the center to use as a temporary snap point and deleting afterwards. And then I filled in the roof using the appropriate angle roof tiles except over the doorway which you'll see me fix in a bit.
And for the walls, I used 2x2 meter walls for the bottom row and 1x2 wall tiles for the top row, both on the inside and outside giving the impression of a double thick wall. And editing as I went along where I thought windows would look nice, filling in all the empty spaces with 1x1 tiles. Now we'll fill in the ceiling, and then fill in the gables, but we'll use core wood to add a decorative pattern on each end as well. And now we'll add a hanging brazier into the hole that we left in the center of our ceiling. And now that the structure is pretty much complete, it's time to fill in all the gaps and add all the trim pieces to make things look nice.
and I decided to make a covered work area in the back. So here I'm adding a 26 degree beam as a temporary snap point for a 26 degree inside corner piece. And from there I can snap two 45 degree inside corners and then another 26 degree inside corner to help tie the roof into the existing roof. And then I can just finish it off with the appropriate angled roof tiles. And then I finish filling in the ceiling and then trim it all out. And then I install the railing all the way around and then finish it off with a cobblestone floor. And finally finish the structure with the same gable design as on the two ends. And now to make our workshop functional. I start by placing a workbench and enclosing it in a cabinet. And the open side will have a wooden chest in it for some storage. Which I don't need a whole lot of storage space in here as I only really make arrows. And the other side will get a work counter with two storage chests underneath. And finally I get to add the upgrades and the ones I don't want visible I'll just hide in the crawl space above.
Now it's finally time to give this place some personality. Starting with a couple banners to place some shop ads on, like fine furniture and lumber sold here, and antiques made while you wait. Also some slogans like whether you're building a gallows pole or you're building a stairway to heaven, we've got all your lumber needs covered. And here I added a lumber rack full of IKEA style furniture pieces. It always looks good to add some clutter, like a case of wood buff and assorted furniture. And we have to have the shop owner. Maybe he's out here serenading his lady friend with a song. Like if I were a carpenter and you were a lady, would you marry me anyway? Would you have my babies? And finally, we need a business sign, like Hammer of the Gods. Sounds like they're straight from the land of the ice and snow. And now the Hammer of the Gods is done. We made a nice looking and functional general shop building and made it look like a carpentry shop by adding some clutter and business slogans. And Mr. Plan himself even made an appearance. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.